Hi everyone, I'm Melody Peacock Brooks with Hoity Toity Peacock and I'm going to show you how to transform some really ugly old Christmas balls that I got at a resale shop for 50 cents and we're going to transform them into some patina rust balls. These are great for Christmas balls, for decorations sitting in a bowl, or even run a rod up through it and stick it in a garden. We're going to start with Modern Masters Metal Effects Primer. And we're going to prime the ball with the primer. And I'll set a fan on it and it should dry in about 10 to 15 minutes. You can paint one half of it and set it down in a roll of tape or a cup or something like that. Let it dry, then turn it over and do your next coat. Completely coat your balls with the Modern Masters Primer and let it dry and then I'll get back with you and show you the next step. I'm back and we're going to use the Modern Masters metallic paint. This is not a reactive paint. It just has shiny particles in it and the color that we're using is Ivy. It's number ME654 and it's semi-opaque. We're going to paint a coat of it on the primed ball that we did that is dry and you'll do this to at least two of the balls because I'm going to show you two different techniques so get a thin coat of the ivy on there we will let it dry and then do another coat now that the first ball has dried with the two coats of ivy on it, I'm going to take the Modern Masters Metallic Paint Champagne, and it is an opaque paint, and I'm just going to run different areas over it. I'm not getting 100% coverage I'm probably doing about 50% coverage just kind of swirling it here and there now I will take my ivy paint and the areas that I do not have the champagne I'll go ahead and put some more ivy in those areas because I want the paint the paint wet even though it's got the ivy color underneath we want it to have some wet ivy those out of the way. Now I'm going to take the Modern Masters Metal Effects Iron Paint. This is what will turn to rust when we activate it with the rust activator. And I'm just going to lay in some iron in areas. And we can add more of that later. Now I'll take the rust activator and spray the entire ball with it. It will let some of the ivy and the champagne metallic paints run, 
but it will also start activating the iron paint and turning it into rust. And because it's wet, we want to just keep rotating and rolling the ball so that the paint runs and drips back and forth. If you just keep it one way, it's all going to drip one direction. I'm spraying very close to the iron to get it to move you kind of run down the ball and you'll need to do this tipping it back and forth for about 15 minutes you can get a, a fan to blow lightly on it to um, help some of the activator evaporate but we don't want it to go too fast or else it will uh, dry too soon and the iron won't rust as well as it would if it stays wet. I'll add a little bit more activator just to get it flowing more. So I'm going to go stand in front of a fan because it's so loud, I won't keep filming, but I'll just keep tipping it back and forth while the fan blows on it. In about 10 minutes, it should be ready. Okay, our next uh, ball will be a different uh, technique. We'll be using just the ivy metallic paint over the primer and I did two coats and we'll use the Modern Masters Metal Effects Iron Paint. I have some here that I watered down just a little bit and I'm going to paint it on the ball probably 90% coverage. I may leave just a few areas uncovered to let a little bit more of the ivy show through but not much now I'll take my uh, modern masters metal effects rust activator and spray the entire ball with it make sure you get enough on there Okay, let me just set it there for a second. I've got some glad um, cling wrap. I'll set it down. And now I'm going to wrap my ball in the cling wrap. I want to completely cover it. If uh, one sheet doesn't cover the size ball you have, then go ahead and use two sheets. Now that it's uh, covered, I'm going to take my hands and just kind of squish it around. If you leave the saran wrap on, it will stay wet under there and it's not going to rust because it's not going to get any air to it. So now that I've kind of squished it and made the little wrinkles in the saran wrap, that's going to help give us some patterns. I want to start unwrapping it.
And if you have an area, like here, I've got a big concentrated area of the rust. I'm just going to dab my uh, saran wrap into it to help make a little bit of pattern. I have a box here that I've cut some slits in. And I'm just going to poke that down right there. And kind of pat where I touched it. This was our other ball. It's starting to rust. And I just had an old paintbrush here. And my little ring broke off of it. So it's easy to just stick it in that hole. And I'm letting it sit like that to dry. So we'll look at these overnight. It uh, takes it about that long to finish rusting. Depends on where you're at, the humidity, the temperature. I'm here in Texas and it's raining right now, uh, but you get a much better effect if you let it rust completely overnight and dry. And then we'll come back and we'll look at how both of them look. I'm back and these are how it turned out. It's got a lot of the the champagne and the ivy showing through and the iron which has rusted and this is the one that we did with the saran wrap it has uh, just a lot of the ivy showing and a lot of fractures from the saran wrap I'm going to seal them with the modern masters metal effects Permacoat Extreme. It's the sealer that they recommend to seal the, the rust and the metals to keep them from activating. So I have mixed up in this little spray bottle. It's uh, one half Permacoat Extreme and one half water. I mix it 50-50 ratio. And I get a better spray with this. So now I'm going to just spray it over the entire ball. It turns whitish, but when it dries, it uh, will be completely clear. And you just want to put a thin coat on because we want it to dry fast. And again, you're going to have to put it in front of a fan to get it to dry faster. You don't want to brush it on because it will show brush marks where you're uh, brushing the sealer on for the first coat. So the first coat I always spray it so that I don't get any type of pattern. I'm going to go set this to the side and we'll do this one. Okay, we're going to spray the one that we did with the two metallic paints, the champagne and the ivy, and then put the iron paint on it and rusted it. So I'll let this coat dry. Any other coat that you put on it, you can brush it on, roll it on, however you want to apply it, or you can continue to spray it. But I always put a couple of coats on it. Um, but the first one for sure, always spray it. As you can see, the first coat has dried that I sprayed on. Now I'm going to go ahead and spray a second coat so that it is completely sealed and the rust will quit activating and it'll stay exactly like it is. If I left it unsealed, the rust would over time just keep rusting and changing but it will rub off on you because rust is an ever-growing live thing that just keeps changing so now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna use a blow dryer on medium heat and go ahead and dry it so that it'll set up and not have any run marks I'll spray the other one a second coat
Okay, I wanted to show you the final results of the patina balls. <clears throat> this one has just a matte finish on it. It's the uh, Permacoat Extreme Metal Effects Sealer. It says that it's interior exterior. Uh, I guess I'll have to try one outside and see how it holds up. But this is the uh, one done with the saran wrap. And this one is been sprayed with a gloss exterior Krylon finish that's a, a glossy finish. And it's very shiny. And I'll place this one outside to see how it stands up. This one is done with the saran wrap that finish. And I'll do a close up in a little bit so you can see them better. This is the one that we had the champagne and ivy metallic paint with the rust over it. And it has the Modern Masters Permacoat Extreme on it. It's a matte finish. And this is one that I did that didn't rust as much. I didn't let it dry overnight. So it didn't get the real orangey look. That's the difference you'll get between if you let it go overnight and then the other is about four to six hours. I've sprayed it with the exterior Krylon gloss finish and this can set on a rod and be put out in the garden as a garden globe or orb. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If uh, you're interested in learning more, go to zenzocreative.com and check out all the workshops that the different artists have on that group.